Hey guys, it's Landon McCarter with Secure Agent Marketing. Uh, here to bring you a video about landing page basics. All right, it's gonna be a quick video. I'm just gonna run through a couple main questions, okay? What is it? When do you use it? When do you want a landing page versus a full website? Landing page fundamentals. What do we hope to get out of a landing page? And then we just wanna look at one together. I'm gonna draw it on the board, all right? So let's get started, okay? So first off, what's a landing page, all right? The landing page definition is basically a single singular page on a website that we're driving traffic to, okay? So typically a landing page is used whenever a insurance agent or insurance professional has a specific marketing message to get across with really one sort of core audience that it's trying to reach. What a landing page really serves to do is provide that all-encompassing information where anybody that's interested in this particular topic would be able to find all the pertinent information and get a hold of the individual that's interested in taking the next steps, right? That's what a landing page is. When you use a landing page, anytime you have a specific marketing initiative and you want to increase buyer intent with paid traffic, a landing page is a perfect way to, to do that. What I mean by buyer intent is that if we have traffic that's driving to a landing page, reading the information on a landing page, and then submitting a form or filling out whatever we want them to do, and, the, and we call that a conversion, that would be a higher intent uh, visit traffic conversion than just you know hoping a, a social media conversion comes through on the social media platform or a message on the social media platform etc what we're trying to do is use some type of paid traffic source to drive them to the landing page in hopes to get them to convert on this landing page um, when you when do you want to use a landing page versus a full website this is one of the pitfalls that I see a lot of insurance professionals do I see a lot of insurance individuals will build a landing page and call it their website what they'll do is they'll create one page that has their name, contact info, you know, a basic blurb about themselves, and that's their website. I typically find that if you really want to stand out in the crowd, your, your website is, needs to be what we call like your digital handshake and really built out and speaking to those individual audiences independently of one another. A landing page is really built to, drink, to, to bring one group of traffic down the funnel into a, a solid point of conversion as opposed to serve as the all-encompassing um, all information um, sort of place for your brand. You don't want to have a landing page that serves as your entire website. So the, the key that I want to try and communicate on landing page is if you have one audience, you need a landing page. If you have multiple audiences with whatever you're trying to build, you need a full website to be able to speak to those individual audiences independent from one another. Um, what we're going to go through is landing page fundamentals. So what do we hope to get out of a landing page, okay? The key that we're trying to go for on a landing page is always conversions. In the insurance industry, I find that there's two main types of conversions. We're either doing independent sort of event marketing, or we're trying to get butts in seats, and in that case, a conversion is registration. So for instance, if you're selling an annuity with a term sort of partner in that um, marketing plan that you're doing with some type of event, you typically are building out a multiple day event schedule and then using your marketing dollars to drive traffic to that event schedule and then hope that they register on that landing page, right? So you're looking for butts and seats, registrations would be what we're calling a conversion, right? Another thing that I find that typically people are looking for the landing pages is leads. We, we deal in Medicare leads, final expense, insurance, life insurance, annuity, IUL, etc. All those different lead types typically have a landing page built around them if you want to high quali qualify your lead and get the highest buyer intent that you can to use that paid traffic to drive those individuals to that landing page. So in that case, the conversion is going to be a lead, okay? So what I want to do is I want to walk through just the basics of a landing page for you guys and we'll just kind of walk through it all together, okay? So if you can conceptualize, this is your website landing page, okay? The first thing that I want to communicate in terms of basics is you want to have your brand front and center in the top right, all right? So you got to have your brand um, very clear. You know, you want people to identify who you are. Typically, there's some sort of uh, paid platform on social that has some brand identity, um, you know, graphic design, etc. You want that seamless transition from the action that they take on the social media going to your landing page to be seamless so they don't feel like they're jumping from one brand to another. That's a huge mistake that I see people make. They have their insurance ads looking one way and they have the insurance landing page looking completely different. And internet buyers are very sketchy because it's super easy to um, go away. I, I use the word sketchy, I meant flighty. They're very flighty. Um, if they feel like they're getting duped by some type of 
you know, bait and switch dill, then they'll just leave your landing page and they'll have a bounce rate. So it's very clear that your brand is evident from the ads that we're using to drive traffic to the landing page along with the individual landing page itself. The next thing you want to do is you, have, you want to have your phone number in the top right. All right. Now you want to make sure that this phone number is click to call. You will find more and more our website traffic is mobile. Okay. Mobile website traffic. They want to go to the website on your phone. And if they're using this landing page as sort of a, I'm already interested and I want to just talk, talk to somebody, they'll typically hit click to call right there. Okay. The next thing I want to walk through is this top left main piece of content. In an ideal world, if you can do it, is a video. We really want to use videos and leverage videos on landing pages. I'll do another complete video um, about why and how the, and how to use videos and the importance of them. But the key is, is that you want this video to be about two minutes to, to three minutes maybe. And all this needs to be is your elevator pitch for what you're trying to accomplish. If you can't get your message down to a three minute elevator pitch, then you need to refine your message to where you can. All we're trying to do is get people to engage with our content in a way that is starting to allow us to feed them um, the information that we want to feed them. Next to your video, you want to have a blurb uh, of copy and context that provides context of what this video is. So this will be like an overview of what this video is going to be whenever they click. The whole point of this text is to get them to click on the, on the, on the play button. The next thing you want to do is you want to have a call to action button right here, right? CTA, call to action, right? This is lead. This is sign up. Right, whatever whatever a call to action ends up being, that call to action button is very important because you'll find that a lot of people will actually watch your video and click to convert right away. Now, you also want to have copy and context. This is where I'm going to do a further breakdown of how to write this copy on a further, on the next video. But the key with this copy right here is that you want to make sure that you're educating um, your prospects and giving them all the pertinent um, educating all the pertinent information that you want your prospects to get if they didn't watch the video. Typically though, what's going to happen is these individuals are about most likely going to watch the video down here. You want to start to brag on yourself, right? This is where you start to say, you know, brag on me. This is where you put like a testimonial. This is where you start selling testimonial. So this is where you're really starting to sell yourself up until this point. We're really just educating, on you know what the topic is that we're trying to, to communicate and get conversions on. Here's where you put your testimonials, try and sell yourself, your ability, how great the event's gonna be, um, et cetera. And then you wanna call to action button down here on the bottom, right? So you got another CTA. Now, CTA button. Now you will find that a lot of your conversions will come from this top call to action button, when you want, but you wanna give them a choice to convert either on this button right here or this button right here because a lot of people are going to watch this video and just convert right away because they have the pertinent information they need and they're ready to get in touch. Or if they have, if we're trying to market like an event seminar or whatever with this landing page, we're able to, the video sort of provides an overview. They'll just, you know, glaze over this content to get the details of the time, the dates, the venue, is it going to be food provided, whatever that's going to be. And then they'll end up, you know, converting down here, but both of these, conversion buttons are really important. You'll also find that people will just convert on their mobile phone up here as well. So the whole point of this whole entire thing is for us to drive conversions, right? Conversions and leads. All right. So the goal of this landing page is to drive conversions per leads. Here's uh, conversions and leads. Here's how we do it. We take paid traffic, right? We drive them to the landing page landing page, right? We then hope they convert into some sort of a lead, convert to the lead. And then we want to, this is where our sales process starts. Sales process. Now, if you're an event marketer, I'd recommend calling these individuals two to three times, call when they register and then the day of to remind them. If you're a, um, an actual drive, doing these, using these landing pages for lead development, then you would I would highly recommend that you just call the lead as soon as it comes in. Now, this lead um, right here will have a cost cost per lead. What we are trying to do, this is the holy grail of everything that we're trying to do here. All right, all of this work that we're doing on the landing page is is trying to get us a low cost per lead 
so that we can generate as much leads as possible with our budget and get as much business written out of this as possible. Because we all know that we don't, no one cares about building the website or the landing page as much as they care about the revenue that they're going to sell from the leads from it. So it's all part of the process. So this is the basics of a landing page. Um, I really hope that you found some value in this video. Um, and then if you ever need any help crafting a landing page, Secure Agent Marketing is built and designed. We only work in the insurance industry. And we would love to take a look at your specific marketing project and help you with your landing page creation, potentially consultation on how to capture these leads. Um, there's a lot of cool things that you can do with automatically scheduling, calendar, sort of invites. Those leads can come in as appointments on your calendar. There's lots of cool things that we can do and help as a team. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope this added some value to your marketing um, services today.